Thanks for joining me. I'm Weatherbug Meteorologist Katie Ferrier with an update to your weather headlines here from coast to coast. Severe risk here for Sunday, big story here, and we'll be talking about the Northwest storm and its later impacts here as we go throughout the early part of this coming week, and also very windy conditions expected here across the United States. Let's break down your severe risk for Sunday. Now, a lot of locations here over the eastern half of the United States, the Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes, even southward, here into Tupelo, Mississippi, looking at a decent chance for strong to severe thunderstorms as a very aggressive cold front moves off to the east and an area of low pressure intensifies and pulls up to the north. Very rare indeed to have a high risk for severe placed in November here across portions of Illinois, Indiana, this far north, that normally doesn't happen. We're talking about temperatures in the 70s expected here for Sunday, which will likely get close to tying a record. This warm, buoyant air allows that air to rise. We've got individual cells that we're expecting here to pop up throughout Sunday afternoon. By Sunday evening, though, a wedge of dry, cooler air moves in quickly behind it. This system moves very quickly in a matter of 6 to 12 hours over a span of almost 1,500 miles. So we'll be keeping an eye on that particular storm as it tracks through to the east on our Sunday. Snowfall almost coming to an end with round one here for you across the northwest. But we've got very windy conditions though here, kind of lingering through here from Saturday, not only across the northwest, but also into the central plains. Overall, the winds expected to stay very high here, pushing that cold front to the east here overnight tonight and also into your early part of the day on Monday. Wind advisories set to expire here by the end of Sunday afternoon. Looking at temperatures though, you're expecting to see a big drop off here for you in Denver as we head throughout this coming week. Let's take a look at your temperatures here for your highs on Monday.